So I picked up the Arsenal SLR 106F now. Um, this is the one with the uh, the brake on the front. Um, it's a little longer than the CR that I have, but not not by a lot. I'm probably going to keep this gun stock and keep it to, I guess, uh, how it was originally set up. Um, I'm not sure about that, but uh, it doesn't have the rail. But it does have the folding stock, which it signifies DF on it. That's it. Um, this is going to be a two-part video. This is kind of like one of my, I think, impulse buys because of just <clears throat> all the hype about the band and not being able to have certain things. I wasn't really in the market for this particular gun. But I decided since they had it in stock, they had it at a normal price. I was going to go ahead and buy it. So I went ahead and grabbed this gun. Um, I'm going to show you some of the other purchases I've made in the last few months. Um, mind you, they might have been impulsive and based on the panic. But the price was in order with the time previous to the panic. So I wasn't going to be one of the people that's paying a ridiculous amount of money for something I could get for, you know retail you know i don't want to support anybody's gouging you know this is purchased from my local gun dealer at normal prices um on that note i noticed that a lot of the local shops has things in stock that weren't available online so if you're looking for certain things you might want to just look around your area and stay away from the internet for a while because a lot of internet companies the bigger ones are gouging all right so what we got here is uh the next major part of the the panic on the band is the magazines. This is my Boxo mags, and I'll tell you what I've been doing for the last few months. Um, first time ever, I bought mags for a gun I didn't have, which were these Glock 21 mags. I was buying the 13 round mags um, for $25 a piece at a local shop. Um, I ended up getting a total of, uh, I think, five of them. But now I only have three. Because what I've been doing is I went through um, uh, Chris USA and I bought some of the extension kits and I turned them into Chris mags. So this is going to run with my Chris and I'm going to eventually get a um, Glock 21 SF to run the regular mags. That comes with three mags. So that gives me um, five, six regular mags and I have. Four of the um, 30 rounders for the for the vector. Probably gonna try to get a couple more in the vector before October. And that's our timeline over here in Maryland for our band. That has nothing to do with the Feinstein band. See what happens with that. But I'm gonna try and get at least two more of these um, before October. Since I got the um, SLR and now I have two AKs and 5.56, five, I've been trying to add on to the mags, which is kind of hard to find, but not that bad. Found a company in North Carolina, uh, Frontline. And they had a these are pretty much regular price. They were selling about I think for at the time I bought it, $37.99. So I ordered uh, uh, four of them. I already had uh, three, so it brought me up to a total of seven uh, SLR mags for the um, 5.56 caliber. Um, and these are the Bulgarian Circle Tens. Um, got a lower, just in case, I'm going to hang on to this, I'm not sure what direction I want to go with it. Might get an SBR so I could uh, just do a Form 1 and use it for my uh, AAC Blackout 12 and a half inch upper and just make that just a, a, a gun, and complete gun. Haha, -ha. came across some window P mags from Gen... Um, uh, Gen uh, 2, uh, M2s, I think it's Gen 2, whatever, I'm not big on the Gens, which one, I know what Gen 4s look like, but um, it doesn't have the covers, so I'm thinking it's a Gen 2, um, anyway, I got three of them, um, these are the window one, uh, as you guys know, I've always had a plentiful amount of USGI mags, so I still have that, 
but I also came by a deal at a gun show, and I was able to buy the kind with the um, USGI new style uh, followers. I got eight of these for fifty dollars. Pretty good deal. What else I have in here? Um, I only have four of these uh, VZ58 mags, so I'm looking to get about at least four more if I can um, before anything happens. And my Galil mags, I think I have. Um, I think I have four or five of these, so I would like a couple more um, for this because these are they're pretty expensive, they're hard to find. Um, what's out there is pretty much what's out there. And I'm not going to be on gun broker buying any mags, so I gotta find it locally or at a gun show at a reasonable rate. Uh, last thing, MSAR STG 556 mags. I only have a few of these. They're, they were expensive up front. They were $48 or something like that for each. Um, so if I could find them for around that price, $50, maybe $55, I'll, I'll probably still buy it. Um, just because they're kind of hard to find. And um, I've been seeing them on gun broker at a ridiculous rate. So if I could find it for $50 each, I'll buy a few more just to have on hand. Um, so, to wrap it up for the whole hype and hysteria that's going on right now, I really haven't been making any videos regarding it. Um, just shop locally. Um, the, the hardest thing to find right now is a decent amount of ammo. The Walmarts and places like that, they all have like limits. So, if you're going to get three boxes of uh, 5.56 five, or 223, you're only looking at having 60 rounds, and that doesn't help a lot. So, Really uh, look for those deals on ammo and try to get your ammo, really. I don't know why the ammo is so scarce right now because no one's proposed bans on um, ammos, ammo and um, or any kind of taxing on ammo. It's just really on the firearms, but I guess one goes with the other. Uh, thanks for watching.